And what people need to understand is that, yes, you know, under the guise of, of uh, the right to defend itself, we are witnessing atrocities. You know, every country has a right to defend itself, but not through any means, not through war crimes, not through collective punishment. You know, 6,000 people, civilians killed so far, 2,400 children. How is that self-defense? We are seeing butchery at a mass scale using preci precision weapons, you know. Um, so for the past two weeks, we have seen the, 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 the indiscriminate bombardment uh, of Gaza. Um, Entire families wiped out. N residential neighborhoods flattened to the ground. The targeting of hospitals and schools and churches and, and, and mosques and medical workers, journalists, UN uh, aid workers. How is that self-defense? You know, uh, uh, why, is, why is it that whenever uh, Israel commits these atrocities, it comes under the banner of self-defense, but when there's a, a, a violence by Palestinians, it is immediately de 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 called terrorism? Is the word terrorist just reserved for exclusively for Muslims and Arabs? Well, let me ask there's, you then. There's a real double standard here your, that we're seeing. Your husband, King Abdullah. And there's also a whole symmetry that we see. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Your husband, King There's Abdullah... There's a symmetry I... because these are not two equal people in the conflict. You know, one is an occupier and one is the occupied. One has a, a military, one of the mightiest in the world, and the other doesn't have a military at all. So there is a false symmetry here that is being drawn. 